This video is an overview of the LCS Wi-Fi Monitor LE program. This tool gives you a detailed, technical look into your LCS installation. It is a Windows-only program offered free of charge by Lionel. We do not provide customer support for this program, so use it at your own risk. You can use LCS Wi-Fi Monitor LE to confirm that all your LCS modules and sensor tracks are connected and operational. You may also use it to see real-time status of modules and their configuration settings. You can also send commands to your layout and it will help you configure join to network mode. We'll begin this video with our LCS Wi-Fi module in access point mode. Start by making sure you're connected to the named network created by your LCS Wi-Fi module. In this case, that will be Lionel LCS 6EBD, and you can see we are connected. Now, let's launch the program. Click the Open button in the upper right-hand corner of your screen. When the connection is made to your LCS Wi-Fi module, You'll see a bunch of information pop up here in the monitor window and a list of connected modules appear across the top of the screen. The information in the monitor screen is highly technical and beyond the scope of this video. Instead, turn your attention to this list of square icons across the top of the screen. Each of these represents one of the LCS modules or sensor tracks on your layout. As you can see here, we have one LCS Wi-Fi module one STM2, a pair of BPC2 modules, four ASC2 modules, and one sensor track, which is labeled IR. Just reviewing the list of module icons can be a helpful troubleshooting tool. Make sure that each and every one of your physical LCS modules are represented on screen. If any are missing, you may have a loose cable or some other hardware problem. Now, let's go a little deeper. I'll click on a BPC2 icon so we can get a better look at its details. First thing to do is press Get Status and Get Config. This makes sure that we're seeing current information about what's happening in this module. For instance, we can see that its base TMCC ID is 1 and that it's configured in track mode with eight IDs. The DC in field tells you the current power level provided by the LCS PDI cable reaching this particular module. You can see live status changes on your layout. For example, these eight check boxes show the current status of the eight relays in this BPC2. If I use my cab two to change track power, a little black checkbox appears. You can open multiple module icons at the same time. Let's look at one of the ASC2s. Again, get status and get config to make sure you're looking at the current information. This device is set for accessory mode with eight individual IDs and a TMCC base address of 1. If you have more than one type of a given module in your LCS installation, the Identify button can be a helpful tool. By clicking on it, a red light on that particular ASC2 illuminates for a few seconds. Using the TX PDI button in the upper left corner of the screen, we can open a virtual cab remote controller. I'm going to select switch number nine and make sure that that little dashed line surrounds the SW or whichever button you've pressed. And now hitting aux one or aux two, I can change the position of switch nine on my layout. For most users, the WPS feature will connect your LCS Wi-Fi to your home or club wireless network. However, if WPS is not working on your network, you can manually set the network name and password using the LCS Wi-Fi Monitor program. 
While you're still in access point mode, click on the LCS Wi-Fi icon and the Wi-Fi window will open. Now, press Get Config and Get Status to make sure you're looking at the current information. And then, paying close attention to the spelling, type in your network name and your password. The channel setting does not matter when you are joining another network. Once you've keyed that in, go ahead and press Set Config, and then throw the switch to Join to Network. Switching from access point to join to network will disconnect your computer from your LCS Wi-Fi. You must now reconnect your computer to your home or club Wi-Fi network and then determine what IP address your router has assigned to your LCS Wi-Fi module. To find your LCS Wi-Fi module's IP address, connect directly to your router using a web browser. The direct connection URL should be printed somewhere on your router. Once you have logged into your router, look for a device named GainSpan. That's the LCS Wi-Fi module. Note the IP address it is connected to. Enter that number into the IP field in the LCS Wi-Fi monitor program, then press Open. An easier but potentially less reliable option is to let our program search for the LCS Wi-Fi module automatically. To do this, press the search button. This takes some time and might take a couple of tries. It's going to go through the entire list of addresses looking for an LCS Wi-Fi module. And when it finds it, it's going to come back and tell us that it found a valid address. Okay. After searching, we have found a valid address, which happens to be 192.168.99.171. Now if I click the Open button, we get a new connection, and we're back in business. That concludes our brief introduction to the LCS Wi-Fi Monitor LE program. Please remember, this is a free utility offered without technical support. We look forward to the continued evolution of the layout control system and hope you find this utility useful. Until next time, happy railroading!